Welcome back guys. Today we'll be checking out X4 Foundation uh, Timelines DLC. So I'm I'm gonna try to not uh, spoil most of the things but spoiler warning uh, if you don't want to get spoiled uh, just leave a like I guess. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to get the ships. I'm just gonna show you what sheep sir you can get in this DLC. I don't know if I got all the ships. So first let's check a uh, Xenon Etch. Uh, it's a large size ship. And yeah, it's a large size ship. It only has like Z uh Xenon weapon, I mean Xenon engine, Xenon shields. By the way, uh, when you get this the the ship, uh, I think it's also modded. Uh, they have mods on it. I'm not gonna tell you how to get the ship. Uh, you just need to do the mission. So that's all the weapon. By the way, you can also get the blueprints for this thing. So you can actually build uh, build the Xenon Edge. Or you can capture it. Okay, next. Uh, next, it's the Sapporo. This is a very special ship. It's another large size destroyer. Uh, I'm I'm gonna try to not spoil anything, but this is a very special ship. So it's using Terran stuff. So Terran, Terran engines, Terran shields. Uh, it can only use Terran stuff, and it has turrets. Not much. Because this is actually not not a combat ship. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, so that we don't spoil anything. Okay, so it's a large size destroyer. By the way, this part right here, uh, it, it revolves around. Uh, it's 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 kind of like those uh, artificial gravity thing. Uh, this right, this part right here, uh, it's not static. Uh, it uh, moves around this way. Okay, uh, next let's check the Odachi. Yeah, this is a medium-sized corvette, and it's another Terran ship with Terran engines and Terran shields. Yeah, it cannot actually use other shields, I guess. Only Terran stuff. And it has... For a medium size, it, it has two turrets. Uh, there's one turret up here. I think it, it can shoot 360 all around. And another turret down here. I don't know if this turret can actually... Uh, shoot all around too. Oh. Uh, where? So the first turret is this one. So where is the second turret? Yeah, the second turret is right here. I don't know if this turret can shoot uh, 360. Uh, maybe it can shoot only up front. But this one, the top turret can shoot 360. So it's a new Terran ship. Okay, next is the B. Uh, this is another Xenon ship that you can acquire. I'm not gonna say, tell you how you can acquire it. Spoilers. Uh, it also uses all Xenon parts again. Because it's a Xenon ship. Uh, Xenon shield, Xenon engines, and Xenon weapons. Uh, it's a plasma cutter beam. It's a very good medium web, medium ship. 
uh, the only problem is uh, for a medium ship all of the weapons are facing forward and it's not that fast actually by the way it's a xenon ship okay next is the Atlas. so it's another terran ship so it's a small size fighter it's a speedy thing it looks like a freaking airplane to be honest with you it's a small I think it's kind of like an interceptor yeah it's a very small ship uh, doesn't have much combat capabilities it only has like the only gun you can equip with this thing is a, a electromagnetic gun and a gamma HPD and it only has like two weapons so uh, I don't know how effective this gun this ship is but it's pretty weak but at least we have new ships and the next is the dart okay so this is a new type new class of ship uh, so basically this is a racing ship uh, there's no weapon on this thing uh, this ship is just built for speed I'm not gonna tell you where you can get this but we have racing ships now so we have a custom racing engine and custom racing generator no weapons uh, because it's a racing ship you don't need weapons for a race Uh, by the way, that's not the only racing ship we have. Uh, we also have the the Ladi racing ship. Yeah, it's just built for speed. Look at this. Uh, they put a medium size engine on a small size ship. So this thing can go zoom zoom. <laughs> Yeah, looks like it has guns, but it actually doesn't have any weapons. So that's... By the way, there are like four racing ships. Uh, we're gonna check them out later. Uh, this is another Xenon ship. I think this one is better than the medium one. So it's a uh, small size uh, heavy fighter Xenon. So it's Xenon F. So as always, I'm not gonna tell you where to get it or how to get it. Uh, you need to figure out yourself. I'm just showing you the ships that we can get. By the way, this is the only weapon this ship can have. It's just the middler gun. So it's a Xenon weapon. By the way, you can also build this ship. Uh, somehow you can get the blueprint I'm not gonna tell you where but figure it out by the way this is uh, I think yeah it has 4 weapons a decent amount of hull and shields yeah I think this ship is good okay, so that's the F uh, next is the Kestrel Sport. So it's another Teladi. Wait, is this is a second Kestrel Sport. Oh yeah. Uh, uh Never mind. He's the here's the Par Pyramid Racing Ship. Yeah. It really looks good. So basically, they just put the engines on the medium ship on the small ship. That's why it can get really fast. Look at, uh, look at that special engine. Uh, racing. I don't know if we can equip this on the other other ship. Because it's a special type of engine. It's built for speed. Than anything else. And then the last ship experimental shuttle 
this one is very special. I'm not gonna tell you why it's special, but it's very special. Uh, it's not a racing ship. Uh, it's for stuff that I won't tell you right now. <laughs> so it only has like an electromagnetic gun and a gamma HPT. It's armed. Look, this ship has six weapons. And it's pretty good for a heavy fighter. But I don't know if you can get more. I think you can only get like one, I think. Okay. Uh, before I say anything else that can spo spoil. So those are the ships you can get. By the way, there's also uh, blueprints. Blueprints for the Xenon ships. You can also get them. And for the other ships, I guess. Uh, the racing ships, you can get them easily. I'm, uh, I'm not going to tell you where or how. Uh, just do stuff, I guess. <laughs> so that's it, guys. So this is the X4 timeline still see so that's all the ships i think i think i got all the ships so that's all the ships in the the new dlc so like and subscribe see you again next time bye guys